Patients with depression or psychosis are benefiting from a therapy called emotional freedom technique. It involves tapping with fingers on acupuncture pressure points whilst giving a positive message. Early results are encouraging. Here's our health correspondent, Michele Paduano. The anxiety I'm feeling. The anxiety I'm feeling. The corner of your eye now. This anxiety in my shoulder. Tony Stewart is a specialist in public health, but he became interested in tapping and persuaded doctors in Sanwell to pilot the technique. He found all but one of his 36 patients got better. What we found was that, on average, at the start, people were showing us clinical cases, and at the end, on average, they were showing us normal on a range of things. Patients like Mark Willits, a classical guitarist who has suffered with anxiety and depression for years. It was even affecting his ability to perform. Anyone suffering with stress or depression can be a very, very difficult person to be around and maybe a slightly unpredictable person to be around. And it's certainly, as a result of lightening my mood, I think lightens the mood in the entire house. So both professionally and personally, I did feel a tremendous benefit from it. Doctors in Sandwell who sanctioned the research have developed the scheme, training another 20 therapists. I was really very cynical, um, but he proved me wrong. Um, you know, I, I don't understand how tapping your acupuncture lines can make you feel calm and, 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 um, and better, but it seems to work for um, patients, some of them very ill patients. All this anxiety, all this anxiety. As well as acupuncture, it seems to work through positive thinking and perhaps mild hypnosis. I think it felt more like hypnosis really than, than anything else. It was quite a strange feeling, but it was relaxing. Um, this process is quite easy to teach people and it's also very effective. It seems to work on patients who have as few as five sessions. With demand for mental health services increasing and finances tight, it could strike a chord with those who pay for care. Michele Paduano, BBC Men's Today in Tipton.